Hello. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to plant out my garlic. Now, before a load of you start emailing and going, oh, you should have got your garlic in in February. I know I should have got my garlic in in February, but my beds weren't constructed in February. So um, these guys have been sitting in the greenhouse, growing very beautifully um, since I bought the bulb back in February. So today has been the first day that I have been able to get them out. I'm going to put them in the soil because I don't want to waste them. They are not going to grow particularly large this year because they should have been in for several months already. But I'm going to put them in and just see what happens. So if you haven't planted your garlic out yet, then give it a go. You won't get big bulbs. You'll get most probably get really quite small bulbs, but it's better than nothing. I'm not going to throw these away. I'm not going to waste them. Now I'm going to plant these in one of the smaller beds and they have been doing unbelievably well in the greenhouse. They've been growing very, very happily and I planted them in half toilet rolls with some compost and I put one clove, uh, yes, one clove in each toilet roll. And as you can see, they've got some lovely roots on the bottom of them. The toilet rolls are about to break and biodegrade, which is exactly what I want them to do. So in this bed here, this is where they're going to go. And all I've got in here is I've got some wood chips at the bottom, I've got some manure, then I've got a load of soil, and then I've just put a little bit more manure on top and just turned that in. So it's all mixed up quite nicely. So let me show you how I'm going to plant these out into their new bed. Now it's very easy to plant these out. I've just turned the manure into the soil. I've leveled it all off. And all I want to do is I want to plant these out. So I'm just going to, you can either use a trowel or you can use your hand, dig a little hole, which is a little bit deeper than the, the toilet roll that it was in. Pop it in the hole and then just cover cover the garlic clove with some more soil and gently push it down. Now I'm going to plant these in rows because I like things in rows and when you plant them I would suggest that you leave about four inches between each clove, each bulb, sorry, each clove and then that way they've got enough room to spread. So dig a hole pop it in the hole, cover it up with soil and firm it down ever so gently. So I will carry on and I'll do another row and again I'll leave the same gap between each bulb, um, each clove and I will do that and when I've done that then I will come back and show you. Right well I've got all my garlic in. If when you put yours in, if you find that some of the cloves haven't sprouted or they haven't got any roots on them then just discard them put them in the compost heap because if they haven't started to grow now then they're not going to what i might do with these because clearly they're not going to get very big what i might do is leave them in all over the winter and then see if they sprout again next year and then that way the cloves will be the bulbs will be much bigger so i will i will see what happens. I'll most probably dig a couple up in the summer and just see if they're a decent size then I'll most probably harvest them but if they're really really small and they haven't done anything I'll most probably leave them in, leave them to have a nice good hard winter and then hopefully next year then they'll come back even bigger because you can plant your garlic either in the spring or in the autumn so um, hopefully we'll, 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 just, we'll just see. It'll be one of those little experiments. But as I say, I know it's really late and I don't usually put it out this late, but because I only managed to get this bed constructed yesterday um, and filled yesterday, so uh, I hadn't, didn't really have any choice um, to put them in any earlier. 
but that's those. I'll keep you updated on their progress and uh, I'll report back as to how large they are, but I don't think much is going to happen with them this year. Well, I hope you found what I've shown you useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.